Mark Savage here, welcome to my channel. What am I doing? I noticed on my BMW RT 1150, getting a bit tappy. Wasn't that when I first got it? Done about 300 miles, getting really tappy. Quick update, two plugs, not four, two. Um, I've worked on a 1200 GS and a couple of them now. I never got four plugs. Early models didn't. So I've only got two plugs. Anyhow, I was surprised how easy a quick oil change on this is. None of the panels have to come off. None. And that's a definite bonus. The oil filter is under here, which I am taking off very slowly now. It does get a lot of road salt on it, so it takes a little bit to get it off. And a simple 8mm Allen bolt takes the sump out as well, sump plug. So uh, you couldn't really do it any easier. So just in case any of you are thinking about doing on this one, really easy. I did a service on the FJR and the, uh, I thought that was easy. It's right in front here, the old um, oil filter was. This one's underneath, everything is underneath. I'll show you. And here we are. There's your old oil filter. And nice and simple, 8mm. And that's the oil change. You often get these where it's bloody difficult to get hold of, but this is not really, really simple to be honest with you. Um, I'm gonna change it for normal high flow. One of these. And as for the oil, <laughs> this is my 20 liters of oil comes into it. Um, nothing special. Remember, this engine's from the 80s, late 80s, a 2002 model, but it's an old, old engine. <laughs> you done? I'm just going to forget my bags and come back. Alright. So you don't use fully synthetic, not even semi-synthetic. To be honest with you, even mineral on these engines is actually quite good. So, I've chose my bargain bucket one here of 20 litres. I think I paid like £50 for 20 litres, which will last forever. Along with all my other bargain buckets in there. So I'm going to change this, let's have a look at the oil, and let's fill it up again, and uh, see what we have. That is really not a lot of oil maybe that's what it's banging out it's really quite difficult this little gap here is the window and i tried looking several times to where the oil was i'm beginning to think maybe it wasn't there to be honest with you that is like syrup um and not a lot of happy syrup either oh mustn't get this on the drive the wife will kill me Keep saying it's going to kill me, she probably will kill me. I'm going to get oil somewhere, I know I am. I always get oil somewhere, and the wife moans at me about getting oil on the drive, and then I say, I didn't get oil on the drive, babe, and I always do. So, I try not to. Anyway, anyway, that's syrup, and do you know, that's a litre. I think there might have only two litres in this, so I'm going to have to find out how many litres it should take when I pour it back in. Right, you all right, buddy? All right, yes, mate. All good, thanks. So, uh, let's get this into a little container that we take and dispose of carefully. You know when you go over a pothole and you want to apologise to the car? Oh! It didn't have two litres of oil in it. Well, I'll call it oil. Syrup. Three and a half litres this should take. Oh, really bad. It's like a litre and a half less of oil. No wonder it's tapping. And it was syrup, so I don't think it was getting around the engine that well anyway. Not good. When I looked for the looking glass, because I hadn't had the bike before, it looked like there was oil in there. It turns out it was bone dry, the poor thing. I don't know if I've actually done a lot of damage to the bike or not. I'm hoping not. Just started it there, I'm going to check for leaks um, and the oil, and I put a new ring in there as well. I had some from the BMW 1200 that didn't fit, so I've got another couple of copper washes. So I did change that as well. Um, I've used Spec 4 oil in here because it's an older bike, not a modern, fully synthetic, etc. bikes. This kit I bought all those years ago, still, time and time again, it's coming in handy. 
And I bought the full one, but do you know what? I've done cars, bikes, you name it, I've done it with it. So I'm so happy I bought that. Right, I'm gonna check the oil again. Hopefully, job done. Nice, simple one. I guess you just want to show sometimes it isn't all the fairings off. I mean, if you look at the jacks, you want to do them. Lots of fairing panels, you've got to move around, take them off, and the oil actual sump. The sump nut actually pours the oil all over the exhaust, so you can wrap some tin foil around that to stop it burning off. Here, nothing impedes it whatsoever. Ooh, impedes, I like that word. Nothing gets in your way, no fairing panels off, simple job done really really quickly hope this video will help you and you can do your own oil change plugs as well i say plugs too remember how easy all that comes off you've got them there to be honest with you they really made these older bikes so easy to service just can't knock that can you so while i'm here i want to get them out and have a quick look if the oil was that bad, my God, what are the plugs going to be like? And again, I've got some 1200 ones in there. If the numbers are the same, I might just pop them in there, you know. Don't know. Before someone quotes me, you can't do that, Mark. If not, I'll be put at the bike shop. Let's get them out anyway. You don't need to see that because I've shown you how bloody easy that is. But wow, that oil was bad. And only having less than two litres in there was, well, just about two litres, was really, really shocking, to be honest with you. But a lot of you said, well done, Marky, for getting this dependable, nice ride bike. Do I do the gearbox oil? Uh, it's only the other side, not a biggie to do. Yeah, I might have a check on the service history, because it's not something you have to do periodically every year or something like that, but you do have to do it regularly. I don't know, this has got 64,000 miles, but what do you reckon? If I'm looking at that oil, yeah, it's a must, isn't it? And it's whining, you know. I actually think it's the other side, it's got two bolts in and out maybe. I'm going to have a look at that next. Yeah, let's have a look at that. If that's them there, out and in, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm guessing, but that's the, definitely the gearbox. These bikes have like a proper car clutch at the back, it's massive in there somewhere. All this would have to come off. But yeah, bugger it, why not? It's in here, just drain it out, and here, just put it back in there. They say you should use 90, it's this 80, 90, good enough, 800 mils. So I thought if I did that, just pour out. Cardboard top tip. Okay, I can't take it for my own. I uh, see someone else do it before. So, let's quickly have a go at this. Oh, there we go, that's that loosened. We'll loosen both just in case. I didn't want to um, take it out and not be able to get it back in again. Anyway, so, I'm going to do my little trick here, a stole. Now, the reason why you need up the temperature is to get it out, so I'm going to put that there, get a cloth on the floor, stop the wife moaning at me. And I found first gear impossible <laughs> to get into um, when it was cold. I had to sort of rock it back and forth. Once it was in gears, they were beautiful going through. A tiny bit clunky. I've had a lot worse than BMW engines. But I just found it was very clunky. I just found it was like nothing. And I moved it forward a little bit. And then it would nicely go in gear. And after that, it was good as gold. So, this is definitely well worth doing. I'm looking at the final drive there. That says that takes about 230, 250 mils, something like that. So, if I'm doing this, I may as well pop out to the shop and I may as well get someone to do the back there because I've only got 800 mils, which is exactly what this needs. That looks absolutely disgusting, I have to say. That is just there. Anyway, while this is draining out, you can see what I was doing this morning.
don't ask, I just added it in. If you take the top one out, it comes out a lot, lot faster. And you can see that is just horrid. Now, if there's a litre in here, I'll put a litre back in there. If it's 800 mils, then that's what it's going to have in there. Um, I can say already, this is passing 800 mils. So, is the manual wrong? I'm just going to top back up to what it says. And it does look like at 850 mils so far. And I reckon that's been a long while. It says in the manual, um, 20,000, 40,000, 60,000, I think it had on there, or the information that I read anyway. <laughs> Still went for just a drain out. Good 950 mil in there. <clears throat> and I've only got 800 mils. So I'm going to uh, <laughs> pop to the shop. And I might as well have a look at the final drive as well and see how that goes there for a second. Oh yeah, the final drive's got the one at the bottom to drain out and the one at the top. So easy to work. The proper holding really. Not many bikes you look and think, think, how the hell do I get to that? You know, good old bikes. Right, well let that drain out. Can you can you even see that? I've got this torque wrench, just don't use it, just sort of know that I'm happy with that, and that does me. Anyway, right, pour it in, pop the shops, do the rear one, let's see if it still makes the uh, Mark 1 Land Rover sound, and let's see how easy it goes into gears. So I worked out it was 940 mil in there. So that's exactly what I'll put back in now. <laughs> Pretty much coffee colour. And now I'm just gonna have a look at the final drive. Take this one out here. Um, this may stop her sound like an old um, Land Rover, who knows? Anyway. There we go, that one. Now, this one actually looks really good. Take out the top one. Drain this out, I'll measure this exactly as well. Now it's a little bit at the bottom already, but it says it's 230 mil in here. Um, yeah, drain that one out. You can see it's a lot, lot cleaner, can't you? Well, you can't though. Um, didn't probably need to do this. Hey, such a simple job to do, why not? I did plugs yesterday, a bit hard to get the old uh, HT lead, however, they were good, um, not too bad at all, um, so I'm awfully happy with this so far. So it looks like oil change rubbish, plugs were okay, gearbox all disgusting, rear diff's good, haven't looked at the air filter yet, I suppose that's my next little job to do. However, all in how am I getting on with it? It's great, a real mile muncher. Um, back forth to work's been really good. People aren't pulling in front of me, a bit more respect. Um, heated grips, wind protection, rain protection. Happy days. Right, leave me do this. Next couple coming up will be this. This tall guy beside me, 17, is Josh. He is a YouTuber. Well, he watches my YouTube channel, so he's got the thumbs up for me. Josh, your bike, yes. it runs. It runs. That's a good thing. What's bad about it? The rear end. Unfortunately, it's been a little bit abused. We're talking disc, brake, mass cylinder. We're talking the rear sprocket and chain. Being a derby, they cost money. You can't get snide parts for these. And it's all gonna have to come off and be replaced with proper parts. Isn't that right? That is right. Indeed. Now, I don't know if you can see it in this light, we're going a day in a minute. This is a mammoth, mammoth exhaust on this thing. <laughs> there you go. I mean, that's just ginormous. 
Did it came with that? Or you it put it on? It come with it, yeah. Ours was <laughs> original <laughs> with it. Luckily we got it, it never passed an MOT, it's not road legal and it sounds like thunder. So However, all in, these are brilliant bikes. Josh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. It's been good to meet you. you. Now let's get back to the bike in daylight. And that was me picking it up. What am I going to do with this one? Well, all the back end really. Service, rear end, you name it, that's coming after Christmas. But my next video will be my yummy something new I bought for myself, I car. So next one coming car, I'm going to squeeze in a ride as well and then we'll get on the Derby Tray 125. It's starting to rain annoyingly. It's just crap weather and I'm a bit cold in shorts. Listen, <laughs> take care of yourselves on the road. Like, share, subscribe. Bye bye. Like me. Hello. Nice to see you. Shut up.